Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. All right, guys. Uh, first of all, God bless you guys. Listen, right now I've been organizing data. Guys, I have been putting so much time in. Just I'm overloaded. Uh, I'm working on the data to deliver tonight. I'm just doing equipment right now. Hopefully everything's going to work fine. I've been super overloaded trying to get all this stuff ready for y'all and in the series for the beginners. But guys, I'm telling you, I cannot keep up with the data. It's just coming too fast. I have testimonies that are so supernatural. It will blow your mind. It's like Old Testament type stuff. It's like you couldn't even think up the con the confirmations the Lord's giving me. It's they're just wild, but they're perfect. So anyway, I I'm I'm struggling with what do I give to them when I say them to y'all first. So I, I was praying, just Lord, what do I do? And He just gave me just go do it, just sit down and do it, because I'm starting to kind of <laughs> it's like do I do the two testimonies? that are going to freak everybody out and encourage everybody? Or do I show them all the stuff that's popping loose with they're rolling out the mark of the beast? They're, they're, they're literally rolling it out. They're front loading, gaslighting the entire world right now to accept the mark. So anyway, and then it's the beginner series and, and it's just, and construction <laughs> all at the same time. Like, uh, so I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to just make sure this works. I'm going to try some video, make sure it's recording properly. I'm going to go take a nice hot shower and or bath. And then I'm going to calm down for a minute and come and do the very best delivery I can to show y'all how close we are and how the Lord just keeps encouraging me. Don't, don't worry, like fear not. And I'll show you these confirmations and, you know, I don't know if I can, I can do it all in one video, but it's going to be probably three, four hours a video, but it's already 10.05. I'm willing to sit here and do it. I'm willing to spend the hours of organization. There's a lot of, uh, that goes into these videos, just pre-video takes hours. So anyway, I just got through organizing folder five. Again, I've added maybe five or six more links. Um, we're going back in a loop. Y'all remember Madonna at the Quavo thing? Not everyone is going to the future. Not everyone that's here is going to last. Y'all remember that? Boy, that's getting significant now, isn't it? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to loop back around to that video and remind you that Madonna at the Quavo you know, where they all walk up the stairs and fall off. It's like into the world and all that. But I want to show you just like the movie I Robot, where it said Chicago 2035. And the Lord told me, look up 2035 in the Bible. I just, I was just like, what? You want me to look up 2035 in the Bible? I heard the Lord say, yes, look it up. So I typed in Strong's 2035 and it was uh, insurrection takeover. And it's a bunch of robots taking over. I was like, that's crazy. And then I, and then a detective Spooner, you know, Will Smith shows his badge. I think it's 4084, 40, uh, I'll look it up. I think it was 4084, 4086. And, uh, I heard the Lord say, look up his badge number. I mean, guys, just think of it. Imagine you're me <laughs> and you're like, what? You want me to look up his badge number in the Bible? Okay. So you type in Strong's 40. You know what? Let's do it. I want, I want to know what, what the number is. Let's do it. Let's just do it. And so I'm sitting there just going like, you want me to look up his badge number, his detective badge? So S-T-R-O-N, just Strong's 40. I think it's 4084, right? Uh, no, 4086. I'll have, you know what? I'm going to go to the iRobot folder and look at it. Hang on one sec. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, y'all remember that? Now, watch. Remember what was on going on his radio? So, it's very plain, very superstitious. The devil's on his way, right? And it shows a nine, and then it goes back and shows 11. I was like, that's crazy. 
9-11, the devil, Satan, angel of the bottomless pit. And then Detective Spooner. Oh, yeah, right here. 4084, right there. 4084. Shong's 4084. So, yeah, I got it right. Piazzo. Uh, I lay hold of apprehend, catch, and arrest. And it's used, look at this, it's used when they came to arrest Jesus. They were seeking to seize him. And then they wanted to seize him, to arrest him. So it's, you know, to to capture, to apprehend and more a man in order to imprison him. And so imagine, just imagine that you're me. And you're hearing this still voice inside of you. Jonathan, look up 4084 in the Bible. It's like, I'm pretty sure I heard inside of me, look up 4084 in the Bible. Like his badge number? And I was like, yeah, and it started tingling. Okay, so I go type it in. And, it, and he's a detective and it means to arrest. Just stop and think about that. Okay, well, that turned out to be the way to understand their language. I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times now and it's been perfect <laughs> it's like uh odd future wolfgang kill them all remember the different colored letters the the letters that were different colors and he told me take the ones that are the same color put them together look them up in the bible unbelievable okay now i'm gonna apply that to what's going on right now with rolling out the vaccine for everybody. Yeah, so a lot of people have laid hold of this now. And uh now now let me tell you some guys, some people really they they don't they don't use discernment. They just think, oh, I can just apply this to every single thing I do, which is not correct. That's not the way it works. You have to be led by the Spirit of God. Also, it's it's a gifting too. If you think you can just oh, I'll just do what Jonathan does. You better be careful because I'm led to certain things. And then there's people, you know, that are very close to me that we talk enough and they're led. I'm not saying you certainly can't do it because that's not true. However, I've seen people go right off the rails trying to do what the Lord has entrusted me to do. And they try and do it for the wrong reasons. And so please just don't. The Bible says not many should be teachers. And please don't ever come to my channel and, and go in the comments and try and start teaching. I will instantly block you. It is it is the apex of arrogance. That's like walking into a professor's class and saying, oh, I got this. I'm going to teach everybody today. It's like, no, don't. I was raised up by the Lord himself to do this okay so now i just want everybody to i see some people in the comment sections it's like getting a little weird and i'm like no don't do this don't do it it's okay to go look stuff up and to you know to see how it works that's fine but to start coming and leaving comments where you act like you're teaching on my on my platform that the lord entrusted me with as a servant that this is this is what the lord gave to me so to come here and do that, you're gone. So please don't do it. All right. Anyway, I'm going to stay up tonight and I'm going to deliver as much as I can deliver before I just face plant on my computer. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I'm going to go make a pot of coffee. I'm going to go rinse off. I've got my desktop all set up. Let's make sure the videos work. Yeah. Can you believe this? So we're going to we're going to apply the same ability to some other stuff and so you know I've had a couple people send me some stuff uh that they're putting in the public domain about the vaccine and it's just absolutely insane uh where this is all going because it's literally the bugs from the pit they are they are taking over the eyes and the ears of the host body system. The above ground scorpion race is seizing control right now. Blue team. Just think of it as red is Adam and, and, and red represents good and right side up. Blue represents down. And don't anybody say, you're wearing a blue shirt. I'll just, that's it. 
<laughs> it's like, okay, I'm talking about in the public domain, those people that are trying to run the government. That's what I'm talking about. Those folks, the, the Democrat thing is blue. The Republican is red. Then the Bible, the name Adam means red, ruddy. And so they're trying to wipe out red. That's, that's their goal. That has nothing to do with the color of my shirt. If anyone hasn't noticed, I wear, I've been wearing blue since I was a kid because I have blue eyes. And yes, it's my color of choice. By the way, thanks for the cap. I really like it. As a matter of fact, I'll wear the cap in the next video. Anyway, so, um, yeah, quick thank you for some people knitted me a cat, two young ladies. Thank you very much. And so, anyway, so I'm going to get this stuff ready. I just want to do a quick check in right now, but I'll probably be up till three or four in the morning doing this, guys. I'm, I'm killing it. I mean, I am, I am constructioning it and just data collection, uh, organization getting ready for delivery and while i'm doing that the lord is confirming supernaturally don't worry time is coming to leave don't worry fear not the time is coming to leave and it's getting a little edgy i'll admit it's like woo, woo, this is getting it's getting good it's like all right we're gonna see where everybody's faith is and um that's what this is really all about. It's about your faith. It's about, do you have faith to do the right thing, even when it's scary, even when, you know, you're like, well, if I tell the truth here, it could be catastrophic. That's the whole point. You tell the truth no matter what. 100% no line. You cannot receive truth unless you're willing to speak total truth, unless you're willing to tell the truth about everything. And I had a little test myself uh, just the other day. I think yesterday, day before yesterday. And I actually had to pick up a phone and call back someone and say, and say, well, the other day when we were talking, this question came up. And when I answered it, I hadn't thought back. And so I want to make sure I, I straighten out the record. So, you know, and they were like, oh, yeah, okay, no, no. And they were like, we understand. And I was like, yeah, I just want to be perfectly clear. I want to be forthcoming. And uh, that's what we're required to do as Christians. We're supposed to, everything's supposed to be the truth that comes out of your mouth. So when I, when I had already done, you know, had this phone call and part of, part of uh, the discussion, uh, I was asked a question. I said, no. And then even inadvertently, I didn't say no, like knowingly say like, oh no, I'm going to lie about it. Not at all. I just said no without really thinking about some stuff. And then it popped up in my mind. Well, wait a minute. You said no, but you know, over the last month, remember this happened and this happened uh, several times. And I went, oh wow, I need to call and correct that. So I even picked up a phone and I called back and this was a professional thing. And I called it back and I said, you know, I want to make sure I straighten this out because, you know, during that last phone call, this was said, and I just want to be very clear and they were like, oh, well, thanks for calling and, you know, making sure or whatever and kind of finished our, our little discussion. But that's kind of what's required of us. 100% no line. That's how you are able to receive truth when you speak the truth. Okay. Anyway, so this is just a check in. I'm going to be working tonight. It'll be probably be up three or four in the morning. I'm going to sit here and do it. Freak out. Okay, so let's check uh the guys y'all see y'all should go get this video right now and watch it before we start. Like if you want something to do right now before I get this video posted tonight, go watch this video. Oh my lord, the most necessary video on the earth. Here they come. Yeah. Now she's gonna, she's gonna take, take it off, it off and look how her, her sleeves purpose. I mean, can you believe I have a big red X on my parachute that says V for vengeance and it makes a big X? See that X? That represents the all seen eye. <laughs> That's them. We covered everything up. The sleeve. Also, the female chromosome. She's covered everything up. Her hood covered up. There's the X on her eye. There's the X on her chest. But you see this right here? That's a bug hatching. Oh, that's just so crazy. But guys, look at all the data. Bug. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Steering wheel of my Tundra. A bug. Largest altar in the world. A bug. Alien ant farm. 
I mean, just look around you. Look at what's going on. Hunted for dinner. A bug, scorpion, virgin outline, an insect, a bug. I mean, this is all broken promises. A bug. I mean, World Cup soccer, a scorpion stinger, a bug. It's all scorpions, insects. All a list of popes, a locust, a bug coming out. Washington, D.C., a bug. I mean, guys, look at what's going on here. Girls with bug tattoos on their vaginas. I mean, oh my gosh. Octavia Butler, you know, humanoids having sex with female insects. Breeding colony. I mean, unstoppables. See, unstoppables. It's an insect. Those are the black mandibles. I mean, guys, a double U. Look at the two V's on the tattoo. I mean, insect, insects, insects. What do you think happens in Revelation 9? They had a king over them. Revelation 9, 11, The twin towers were destroyed. Insects are coming from the pit. I mean, he's just like, this is just, a, it's unarguable. It's just fascinating. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to calm down. I'm going to make sure all this worked. I'm going to go shower. I'm going to come back out here, and I'm going to try and hit a home run for everybody on information and data, data delivery. I mean, my goodness, look at what we're looking at. Look at the whole resist Trump movement. See, look. Resist Trump. Look at the red T. See, upside down. Resist. Half his face is blotted out. Resist. I mean, come on. This is so obvious. It's just so obvious now. Really, Satan is waiting. See, they wanted a bunch of angels to breed with them. That's what this is all about. Do you guys know where this is from? Y'all know what... This is the double cross with the infinity symbol. Let me show you where that's from. There you go. See the sigil of Baphomet, all these different versions of a Mindy's goat. So when you turn a sheep upside down, a star upside down, which represents the sheep, one of God's angels, it turns into a goat. Right side up, one thing, upside down, you get the goat. And look right there, double crossed. That's like, and then this all goes into the idea of being, you know what double crossed means? Think about it. There's a cross on the right and a cross on the left. There's a double U, double crossed. Get it? And the only one that can fix it is the one that's in the middle, Jesus. That's why a guy named Barabbas was going to be crucified. But instead, they set him free and Jesus took the cross in the place of a guy that was called Barabbas, which represents all of us that get saved. We're all Barabbas. Bar Abbas means, Bar means son of. Abbas means the father. Barabbas, son of the father. And Jesus was on the cross taking all of our places, they, all of us that get saved. It's just, I mean, guys, this is just the greatest there's no money, there's nothing in the world that compares to knowing the truth, which means knowing Jesus, because Jesus is the truth. You cannot compare to it. There's nothing. He is the one true God. That's it. They hate him. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Double cross right there. Okay, so now let's see. So you guys go watch this. Oh my Lord, the most necessary video on earth. Here they come. You guys can watch that. That was May 28th, 2019. We're in May. That's almost a year ago. No, almost 2019. Yeah. May 28th, 2019. And Madonna's singing that song. Not everyone is going to the future. Not everyone that's here is going to last. Look at where we are right now. We're getting ready to go into worldwide starvation. They've shut the whole system down for, what, two months now? 60 days?
They're going for more. We have these blue state governors on power trips, and they're trying to shut down the economy. Trump's trying to reopen it. It's a game of cat. Barack Hussein Obama has been totally busted for the Russian collusion nonsense BS narrative. It was all a setup by Obama. That reminds me of a prophetic utterance of, from a guy. Behold the man of peace, Barack Hussein Obama, shall come forth from the sea, and with words of peace he will bring chaos and destruction. Behold the fig tree puts forth its leaves, and suddenly the time is upon you in 2008. And look where we are right now. Chaos and destruction are ensuing right now. Okay, wait till You know what? I'm going to go do my shower. And get ready. I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. All right, I'll be back. Oh, back issues. Quick group hug. By the way, I want you to know this. I read your letters. If some people go into these six to eight page letters, I don't read them. I put them off to the side because I've told everybody so many times, please don't do that because it's not fair to the other letters. So if someone's going to write eight page letters and expect me to read it, I'm just saying... You obviously weren't thinking about just the whole idea of my workload and how much I still I have to do. An eight-page letter just doesn't work. Okay, so anyway, I want you to know I read your letters, I read your cards, and I, I'm so grateful for all of them, everything y'all do. So when I give this hug to this bear, I'm giving you a personal hug. Just like when I was in Grand Junction, I had never made contact with most you know most of the 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 people that are out there so for me grand junction was like an actualization where i actually got to say oh hey it's you and hey it's you and you know shake people's hands and hug people and it was awesome so when i hug this bear right here that's me just giving you a hug back i love you guys yeah thank you i love you thank you for just all the all the kindness you know it's awesome okay Let's get it going, man. I got to get back in front of this computer. So I'm going to load this one up right now, and then I'll be back tonight. I'm going to do this. All right.